A piece of Hawaii's past in East Honolulu has been turned over to the community. The Havea Heiau Complex and Kea Vava Wetland in Hawaii Kai will be protected as a community-owned and managed Hawaiian cultural heritage preserve. This is a very valuable piece of wetland. I mean, just look at it. It's, it's beautiful. Um, we have some endangered species here, the, the moorhen, um, the dragonfly, um, the hoary bed has been seen hanging out around here too, I understand. Um, cultural sites, uh, the, the heiau, um, the new grove behind me, which is one of the oldest um, in the area. Um, just, just a wonderful gem uh, preserved for current and future generations. We need to remind ourselves that the lands we walk on were walked on well before us and we walk in those footprints and we need to make sure we honor those footprints. And the way we do that is by remembering the history, preserving what's left and making sure that it's available for people to come, to look, to learn and quite frankly feel. Caldwell says Councilmember Stanley Chang led the city's efforts to protect the land. It has been a rocky road for this project over a period of many years. But it shows that when the community gets together with the private sector and the landowner, with state and local government officials, we can move mountains and we can do what's right and we can preserve a unique piece of our Hawaii ecology, habitat for our endangered alai ula um, birds, and um, the site of some very important cultural and historical features. In 2009, livable Hawaii Kaihui was introduced to this land through the eyes, hearts, and minds of a handful of community members. Kapuna from Niu Valley spoke about this area once being the largest fish pond in all of Polynesia. 523 acres, famous for its abundance of fish, particularly the mullet. The property is on Hawaii Kai Drive and previous owners had plans to build a swimming pool and tennis courts there. The community's vision to protect and malama this land was embraced by the landowner, Hali Kalai. And through the skillful guidance of the Trust for Public Land and Conservation Planning by NRCS, and our stewardship partner from the Oahu Club, our neighboring property. And through your support, these five acres will be preserved in perpetuity. Funding for the $650,000 property came from the city's Clean Water and Natural Lands Fund and the state's Legacy Land Conservation Fund. Since it was established in 2005, we've been able to preserve over 6,000 acres of land in the state over 20 different projects. So it's a great um, investment of uh, public resources and public funds. The property was purchased below the appraised value from developer Hale Kalai. 